Hey folks, Pills here, welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video, and as you could probably notice, um, I did sort of change my, uh, video setup stuff a bit, so apparently I do, I might or might not have, uh, music in my videos as well, which is pretty cool, and also, um, well, ignore my overlay, I kind of screwed that up, I've been working on all, like, my new setup stuff today, I, I got some equipment in, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird, but anyways, uh, today we're gonna go over some detailed, uh, stuff in the, you know, um, going into some de into some detail for the Charcoal slash Flannery Syncrid. And, uh, again, as usual before that, let's do our daily summons first. But yeah, let me know what, y what you guys think about, uh, the new setup and stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna work on the overlay. Um, any of you guys know how to make good overlays? Let me know. I pay good. At least people say I pay good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll work on my overlay so it's not super weird. But, uh, yeah, also let me know if the volume stuff is good and all that. And, yeah, let's see if we get any good pulls here. Even though we just got another four star from Ethan's banner, which we apparently cannot stop getting four stars from Ethan's banner. But, yeah, we're going to go over Flannery Syncrid uh, in a bit. And, again, it's... Before, before we, you know, actually go over my, I guess, I guess it's an opinion on the Syncrid stuff... Uh, you know, it's, again, it's just my opinion, it's not 100%, you know, this is the best way to go, because, well, I mean, it is what it is, I mean, it's a suggestion, right? Um, it's kind of like a suggestion, it's not like 100% you have to do this, if you don't want to do it my way, fine, doesn't matter, um, you do you, but again, just some suggestions for building the synchro. So, first of all, Ignore whatever the heck I've done here. <laughs> I've, I've just been trying stuff out. Um, again, like resetting this thing is just so incredibly cheap. <laughs> so I've, I've just been trying some stuff out and then resetting every time I, I don't like it. <laughs> but anyways, um, in terms of Flannery Syncret, so there basically are... There's two major ways to, uh, to building Flannery Syncret. Uh, the first being, uh, obviously just uh building upon pass it on just to pass off your stats make flannery a kind of like a support in co-op right and the second way is just to make a dps flannery which is actually doable and actually pretty good <laughs> so anyways uh let's first go over let's go over a, a dps build first right so um if you're going for dps honestly all these around flannery get them all get them all like Okay, they cost Syncors, but aside from that, they're, they're free. You don't need to use any energy, and again, for those of you who don't know, you, you can't get every single one of these. Uh, they cost, you know, all, aside from the inner circle, all the other ones cost energy, and then you have to you have to use under 60 energy. So if you hit 60 energy, uh, you can't get any more Syncrits, right? So keep that in mind while building. In terms of what we should be getting outside of, you know, the free stuff, right? These Again, these are basically free, aside from the fact that they cost in corpse, which, you know, we're not going to take into consideration. Um, but Flannery's Ember, if you build Flannery's Ember up, it's actually pretty powerful because there's so many Ember power upgrades that they make Ember, which is, what, a base, what, 17 or something um, at what uh i think it's base 15 like at one dupe which everyone should get that one dupe already uh is base 17. so it so let, let's just count up all the power-ups for ember and, and see how much damage that is right so over here we got um four plus four uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, uh, 33, 34, 35, so, um, or 36. So you could get up to plus 36 damage on that, and then with the base damage, that's uh, 17, 36 plus 17. I'm not a big math person, so give me like two seconds. Um, 17 plus 36, that's 46, 53 or something, uh, along those lines, but it, it's over 50. 50 power moves are usually 2-bar moves. Some 2-bar moves don't even have 50 power, like, um, you know, go into someone with a, a 
you know, for example, two bar move, uh, like Aerial Ace, that's 47 power. Um, someone else, uh, Dragonite has a pretty good one, right? Dragonite does a decent amount of damage on his 50 power, <laughs> right? <laughs> so if you get all the power ups for Ember, you could legit make Ember stronger. And uh, again, Ember is a one bar move. You could make Ember a one bar move as strong as a two bar move. That's insane. That's pretty insane. Um, so obviously if you build upon Ember, you can actually get some good damage with Flannery. So in terms of which ones you should go with, uh, go with again, uh, do a combination of Ember plus uh, X Special Attack as well. They're pretty useful. So, right, um, starting off, obviously pick up this uh, Ember Grid, right? If, again, if you're building for Ember, um, pick up this one. That's three costs for Ember, power up four. And then you kind of want to find a way to get to this one, which is Special Attack plus 10, which is five energy. So there's a few ways to get to this one. So you could go um, starting from here. You could go either over here. Um, well, you, you'll have to pick this one up, right? Uh, you could pick this one up and then go through either here or here to uh, a special attack plus 10. Obviously, the too hot to handle is slightly better, but it does cost one more um, energy, right, in comparison. Um, too hot to handle that uh, has moderately good chance of restoring one's uh, MP once the move is used, if the move is successful for too hot to handle, which is really good because... Um, if you get that to proc once, you could get 100% crit because, you know, one of the problems with Flannery is you can't get 100% crit. You could only get 80% before, but if you could get this one to refresh, you could potentially get 100% crit on this one, right? So that's pretty nice, right? Um, and, and also crit could also potentially be useful in another path that we, we were talking about, right? So you get to special attack plus 10, or the other way is to go get this um, for two costs, speed plus five, and then... Uh, four cost uh, special defense plus 10 you could go that route as well, right? Um, but I personally suggest going for this one and then getting that special attack plus 10 again We're not going to do pass it on route. So we're not going to take this pass it on right? Um, we're talking about ember first. We'll talk about pass it on in a bit and moving on to the bottom left corner uh, Obviously you want to pick up this ember uh, power plus right and again We're not going to talk about any of these other ones since you know We literally can't unlock them at the moment, but you know when these come out we'll we'll, we'll talk about them um, when we get more dupes for Flannery, because we need, uh, we need, uh, two extra dupes for Flannery to unlock all of these, which, again, we don't have access to at the moment. So, yeah, pick up this Ember, this would be nice, and then from here, which, again, this is a free Special Attack 5, you could pick up this Special Attack 5, only two energy for Special Attack 5, so this one's really, really good, obviously. And then, the Burn Synergy. So, here's the problem with, uh, Flannery Syncret, is that, Nothing's really a hundred percent like for burn synergy, which uh, powers up move uh, moves when the target is burned Which is like about what 50% or something, right? And then you also have uh, crit strike 5 up here, uh, which is you know same amount of damage uh, When they're at crits is that you don't have a hundred percent crit guaranteed and You also don't have a hundred percent burn guaranteed on will-o-wisp although you do have a although it is achievable for will-o-wisp because again uh, will o wisp accuracy plus 10 is locked at the moment, so you can't actually have access to increasing will o wisp accuracy, which is at the moment only 90%. So I would personally go for burn over crit. Obviously, you could go for both, but again, there's limit to energy, so I'd personally choose uh, burn over crit. And also, the other reason why I'm going for burn over crit is because uh, the path to getting crit gives you a bit more better stuff, you know, right? It gives you speed plus 20 for 5 energy. And then special attack plus five for two energy over here, right? As for uh, above, uh, over here, if you're trying to get a uh, critical strike, right? Um, you do get a uh, special attack plus 10 for four, which is nice as well. But then like your other options is uh, special defense is just not as good as speed, right? Um, even though you are, you know, it's only a one bar move, but if you're going for will o -Wisp, speed obviously helps because, well, Will-O-Wisp is a two bar move. And Flannery is relatively slow, so some speed would help uh, Flannery out a lot. And also, you know, it doesn't only just help Flannery, it helps your next um, upcoming uh, Pokemon as well, right? You know, if you save more on the move gauges for Ember, that obviously helps. So, uh, moving on. Uh, again, you want to probably pick up this speed plus 20. It's only 5 energy. 5 energy for 20 speed. That's pretty good. <laughs> and then you pick up the second burn synergy, um, plus 5. So again, uh, this is if you're going for the burn route, right? You do that. And then moving to the top right corner, 
Uh, you First of all, you want to pick up this one, special attack plus five for two energy, these two embers, and then these two embers, and you're probably out of energy. Um, you might be able to pick up this last ember if um, if if you don't get like uh, this extra plus five speed, but like it's two energy for plus five speed, which is also really nice. So it really depends on you, slightly more damage or you know a bit more speed, right? Uh, so. If you go this route again, uh, you should be kind of uh, you should be out of energy uh, at this point. Uh, but if you do want to go for a crit power instead and not do the burn stuff, which I you still still should probably just go for at least one burn, right? Go for one burn synergy over here, and then one special attack plus five over here. And of course, uh, the other stuff up here you can't really get at the moment. So, anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, you know, if you do want a crit power or a crit strike, you could do. Burn synergy five and then plus crit strike, right? So you just don't do the second one down here and uh, the speed plus 20 over here, I guess. So obviously you come up here, um, ember power plus four, special attack plus 10, special defense plus 10, and then you get critical strike. As for the other routes, I really don't really recommend doing. Um, Willis move gauge refresh is really whatever, right? It's not that big of a deal. And if you want to go like this path, that's what that's yeah i don't think it's really like it's both it's both just nine energy and then this one you get special attack plus 10 and then instead on this path you get what hp plus 20 and defense plus 10 which hp plus 20 is better than you know special defense plus 10 generally right um but i mean you're you're getting more damage <laughs> so i'll take that route instead um as for pass it on honestly i wouldn't really recommend building for it at the moment again pass it on's really really good uh, it's you know it's it's a it, it's a very decent build for Flannery as well, but you don't really have uh, access for, uh, to fortuitous uh, for fortuitous at the moment, uh, which obviously has a good chance of raising the user's attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, accuracy, or evasiveness at random when an uh, when an attack is successful, which is really really good, right? <laughs> so um, especially if you're trying to pass on stats, so you don't really have access to that at the moment. So yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, also for the for the um, um, for the damage for the DPS build, the reason why I don't really recommend going for power chain is it's just much more situational, right? You know, um, as for the burn thing and the crit thing, as long as you're getting if you know if you have a hundred percent crit or you know uh, w with the help of uh, two hot to handle MP refresh thing, right? Or if you just land a will with or, or you know um, with with ninety percent accuracy, right? You'll always get that damage boost, but with uh, the unity thing, you have to, you know, there's always a bunch of turns before y y you guys could potentially get into unity, especially with randoms, randos and stuff, right? So, that's why I don't really recommend going for uh, Parachain 1. As for, again, uh, back to the, the Pass It On build. For Pass It On build, I guess there's two schools of thought here. One being build Flannery as tanky as possible. Um, so... I don't know why, <laughs> but you know, um, I, I don't really agree with the tank, tanky kind of build. Um, I, I, in my opinion, pass it on. You should just die as quickly as you can just so you could pass off the stats, which is kind of hard for Flannery because Flannery is just naturally tanky, right? So what can you do? <laughs> but again, um, I, I, I would suggest not building as tanky so you could pass the stats on. If you, uh, My reason against building it as a super tanky is if you stay in too long, and your teammates don't have really tanky builds and then they just start dying because you know you can't really redirect damage unless or dry aggro unless you're weak to whatever type your opponent is well that also makes you not as tanky right so you're going to take more damage but you know if you're just staying in there forever you're not helping contributing doing damage or whatever um which flannery again you could still do some damage maybe you could do like a pseudo tank slash dps slash pass it on build which would be super weird but again, you know, once your teammates all die and then you're all alone in there, nine out of ten times it's not going to end well, unfortunately, right? So, um, again, uh, obviously for this build you want pass it on, <laughs> right? Uh, you want pass it on, and you want all the moves that could get you as many stat boosts as possible. So you want too hot to handle MP refresh, so you could do your best at trying to pass on as as many um, uh, crits as you could pos uh, possibly pass on, or you know all the other stats that it offers and also this one for x special attack so you could pass on potentially 
um, plus three special attack because remember it's only half the stats which is still really really good right um, but yeah also my other reason against building pass it on uh, for now at the moment at least right is it's just not as good as dust I mean it's different from dust clops right uh, you get special attack from Flannery you don't get special attack from dust clops you don't get the defensive boost from dust clops either but dust clops also is a support like they not only buff your own units they also buff your teammates which is why dust clops is just a much better in general pass on um uh sync pair which again i still think flannery is really really good in this department right it's a decent boost if you and if you want that if you need it if you you know if you want to pass it on to like a dragonite which doesn't have any stats right flannery would be great for uh dragonite pass on but anyways again you know that's my rant on passing on but anyways again um that's where it for this one oh as for the um the dps build i totally forgot to do this but uh basically it looks something like this um, in terms of all the ones that uh, I talked about in that build for the the routes and paths and all that so there's that I guess if you guys want a you know quick visualization but anyways and, and again passing on is just pretty simple you get passing on and then the other two right the 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 MP refreshes as for any other stats it doesn't really matter it really depends on you, you could do tankier or you could do a bit more damage while you're there but anyways Again, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy this video, subscribe to your channel for some more Promo Masters content. Also, let me know about my um, noob setup if you think the music volume and all that stuff is good. And you can also join our Discord in the description box down below where you can talk Pokemon Masters with us, do co-ops with other folks, and I'll see you guys in the next one.